Hi. Is it possible to set up an antenna that will cover all of the HF bands in less than 10 minutes? That's what I'm going to attempt to do in this video. So let me begin by introducing myself. My name is John. I'm at a radio call sign M7CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Before I start, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've done uh, in preparation for, for this that I'm not going to actually count towards the time. The first one, I've loosened these all the bolts on the main stand but I've not attached anything to it just loosen the bolts what I have done that should save some time I've actually mounted the antenna to the pole and also the section for the uh, 40 and 80 meter kit to the antenna so I've done them purposely beforehand because this can actually be brought inside with that attached and I think it'll make it all a lot easier also on the 40 and 80 meter ham sticks I've placed the actual tuning section inside almost all the way and I'll have to pull them out and apparently tune them according to the band that they're for. So I'll need the nano VNA for that. On the upper section of the antenna, there are two lock washers that actually go onto the antenna to hold it in place for a more permanent uh, insulation. Now, for the first time, I'm not actually going to put them on because I suspect they're more for put for long-term use. Um, I've got an Allen key for adjusting the angles on the the kit section and a second allen key for use on tuning the uh, the ham sticks and also adding in the small whip sections of the antenna To the top section. One thing I do actually suspect about this for anyone that's living in a HOA. This is even the top section that though it's the thinnest I strongly suspect you could quite easily mount a medium sized flag on this um, possibly not a full size because it would cause the antenna to bend but a medium size should should be no problems So I'm going to take everything outside and uh, I'll see you out there to, and film it whilst I'm actually doing it. With all that being said, 
I'll see you outside. Now it is dark. And I'm hoping the light I've got on the camera will be sufficient for you to actually see what I'm doing. Unfortunately, the light was not quite good enough to get uh, a decent quality video of me putting up the antenna. So wait a couple of hours for the sun to come up and try it again. Here we go. Okay, I've hooked in the Nano VNA and done a quick quick scan, but as you can see the line's fairly high. At the bottom end on the 80 meter, now bear in mind I've not tuned 80 meters. I'm showing an SWR of 4.2. As a scan across the bands, let's see, got a band around here somewhere. Still run 4.2. Go, goes down slowly. 4.087. Oh, have a dip. Uh, it's uh, 21 megahertz range. And drops to zero at uh, There's another dip there. Oh, it drops to 3.677, but that's outside the band. 10 meter band. Shows an SWR of 4.5. Zero four six dropping down Okay, it's on the up at that point. Yeah. 
move across 4.090 and then up on the 50 megahertz range Three seven nine zero to four two nine four with a height around about four point one six four. So as I said in the previous video, the SWR of 1.05 uh, to 1 or 1 to 1 is purely based after tuning. And now Shall we see how fast I can get it down? As I said, this antenna does have a very poor SWR without a tuner. So you will either need an external tuner, or in my case I'm okay because I've got a G90. The tuner is more than capable of handling such a poor SWR. 6 minutes and 16 seconds to set up the antenna for the first time. 4 minutes and 1 second to take it down and I'm sure I can improve on them times the benefit of a fast setup and takedown mainly to do with contests field day and even parks on the air the quicker you can set it Set up your equipment the quicker you can get on the air and start making them QSOs that you're searching for. And at the end of the day, especially if it's a long contest, you may be tired and you want an antenna that you can take down quickly and put away so that you can get home and go to sleep. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, like, subscribe, all the usual YouTube stuff. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the air.